Hi guys, it's Shani. I'm here today to do another review on I Love This Box. Um, I got my January box um, yesterday and I had a little bit of a look. Um, some things that have improved since the last one. These, um, the box was actually sealed this time. The sticker that had my name and the dress on it was actually um, was um, actually over the um, flap, so you couldn't open it without um, ripping the sticker. So that was that was um, definitely an advantage. So I was pleased with that. Um, the products inside the box, though, again, I was really disappointed. Um, let's go through it. Um, this month, because it's Australia Day um, coming up on the 20th, um, because Australia Day is this month, um, they said they did full size products for everything, um, which is cool. Um, you know, you can't complain with the full size product. Uh, my problem really was, well, I'll explain that when I get to it. Um, so this month it came with a beautiful yellow tissue paper with a little Australia sticker holding it all in. Okay. And as always, you know, they've got a little um, card with the products on the back. And this one just says, um, January is a special month for Aussies. We're starting a brand new year about celebrating what's great about Australia and being Australian. And that's what they've said this month. They've decided they're going to do uh, four to five full size products. So it was actually five full size. So, um, and then they just go on about, um, you know, looking at the slot again to get your um, reward points, things like that. So that was okay. And I'll just keep this again for um, pricing so I can sort of tell you. Um, the box definitely paid for itself this month. Again, it was $15. So, you know, the box has paid for itself with all these products. But <laughs> I'm just not loving the products. Um, and you'll see why. I'll just go through it. Um, product is this angled brush, and this was. Um, I said I love this box on it, and on the card it said that it was uh, specially manufactured for this box. I love this box. dot com. Uh, it's natural hair, um, and this one's recommended retail price at nineteen dollars. Um, would I pay nineteen dollars for this in a in a store? Probably not. The quality doesn't seem as as good as some brushes. Um, I'm not being a brush snob when I say that. Um, it's not very very dense. Um, I don't have to be fluffy but I have angle brushes that are fluffy but they're still a lot more packed. Um, I'll give it a go. I mean you can never have too many brushes but you know it, it doesn't seem like it's the most densely packed brush. Um, but for what it is, uh, you know, it it's paid for it the box already so I'll give it a go and I mean, you know, it, I'm sure it'll work fine, but it's just, I wouldn't say probably the best quality, and I probably wouldn't pay nearly $20 for that brush. Um, let's see what's next on the list. Okay, so we have here um, a Linden Leaves. Um, this is the Arom Aromatherapy Synergy Body Oil in Pick Me Up. It's got a, I don't know if you, how we see it, there's a wedge of lemon in there. Um, this is the full, obviously everything's full size. Um, and I looked on the website because it says um, Linden Leaves are sort of bath and body products um, between $11 and $29. Um, this was actually $24 for this. Um, I am a bit disappointed with this product. Um, it's probably not something I would buy myself. Like, I mean, I would have rather maybe have had like, the foot soak or um, the bath product, something like that. Um, but for what it is, I mean, you know coming in from the hot sun like after a big day at the beach or at the cricket or something, you know, you can certainly use it. Um, I'll give it a go. I mean, it doesn't smell unfortunate. It just smells very strongly of lemons. I mean, um, it doesn't smell like cleaning product, but it just smells like literally someone squeezed lemons in this. Um, the next product is Olive by Langos. It's a flavoured lip balm. Um, this retails at $7.95 each. Um, this is actually my favourite flavour, um, vanilla, and it has a, um, it's not a really strong vanilla scent, well I don't, I don't find it strong, um, but you know you can never go wrong with a lip balm, I don't, so I don't really mind it, um, although it is a bit disappointing because I'm sure can't remember because I haven't really looked back at the last video, but I'm sure I got a lip balm with my last video. 
uh, with my last box. So that's a bit disappointing that I got another lip balm so quick. Like, I wouldn't mind maybe one like you know in a couple months or something, but month to month, like yeah. I mean, I I really personally use lip gloss more than I use lip balm. Um, just I use lip balm when I'm down at the beach. I take one, you know, stick in the pocket. But yeah, but I mean, it's in a good flavour. It doesn't. It's not a cheap vanilla smell to me. Um, so I'm happy with that. So that's that one. Now, these were the two products that I was really, really disappointed in. On my beauty, for, beauty, uh, on my beauty profile, I said that I was into like adventurous makeup, um, and yeah, that I didn't have, really have any special um, requests or anything like that. So um, they had these next few products. They had an array of colours, like you could get any colour. And from what I've seen about some other people, because I actually did a bit of research before I came on and did my review, people were receiving. Um, definitely like a lot better colour than what I got um, so I was very disappointed in this one. Um, the first the Revlon Nail Polish and that was full size it was $13.95 retail and it said you know there were up to 65 fashion shows and then it goes which one did you get? This is why I'm so disappointed. I got Barely Peach 910. You can't even see it like this would be okay if you did manicures but that's not an adventurous colour. I'm sorry, it's not. I um, mean, I love neutrals as much as the next person, but that's a manicure colour. That That's not... I wouldn't call that a high fashion shade. Um, I'm really disappointed. Um, you know, I mean, I, I might give manicures to my mum and stuff, so I can use it for that, but for the purpose of what, I mean, you know, of this box, um, really, my beauty profile has... This is like the second time it sort of hasn't the products I've gotten haven't really matched my profile um, which is really disappointing because I really had high hopes um, for this box after I um, yeah so I don't know I'm, I'll probably give it another month and see how it goes I mean it's, it is disappointing that it is disappointing but I'll probably give them the benefit of the doubt give them one more month um, and then after that I'll probably just Call it quits and cancel my subscription. Really, I'm really I'm disappointed. And this was the other thing that I was disappointed in. Um, I got a Revlon Luxurious Eye Color, um, Luxurious Color Eyeliner, and they recommend it twenty three dollars ninety five. And um, from looking at the um, website and other people, there was an, a fairly good range of eyeliner colors. You know, your general midnight blues, blacks, browns, whatever. I got white. Um, yeah, pure white. So I was really actually very disappointed. Um, I wouldn't have even cared if it was a black eyeliner. I mean, you can never go wrong with a black eyeliner. But like, even a midnight blue would have been cool or something. Um, but from what I've seen, I think I'm the only, one of the only people who or who at least reviews about them who've gotten boring colours. Um. Which is really upsetting. Um, I was just not impressed. This is the. I mean, yeah, it does a good job, but I have white eyeliners. Um, I have I have a Mac white eyeliner, and I hardly ever ever use it. Um, I only got it because sometimes I just need a little bit of white eyeliner um, to have my eyes from really tired. But yeah. So overall, um, I would say this box is a bit of a bust again. Um, it also has a little card in it with um, tip of the month, um, just talking about cleaning brush makeup brushes, things like that. Um, I don't know how, if they're going to do tip of the month every month, um, but they just did this one. I'm, if not, I'm just assuming maybe because they put a brush in there. Um, yeah, but overall, I mean, when I read like when I you know the card was on the top, when I read that, I was like. Oh my god, full size products, yes, like, you know, how can you go wrong with a full price product? And then I got opened up the box and I was like, ah, hmm, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Probably the only good things in it were the angle brush and the lip balm. Really, I mean, the body oil I can, I can try, I mean, but I don't know how, cause my skin's, it's a pain, like, yeah. I know it, it sounds like I'm complaining, I know, and I'm not I'm not a complainer. But it's just a little bit disappointing. Um yeah. 
but I'll leave all the information below to um, their website. Uh, I'll leave it to my. <laughs> Sorry, that's the dog. Um, I'll leave it to um, my Facebook, Twitter, and blog. And yes, yeah, so please leave a comment below. Tell me if you've got a, if you have an I love this box. What did you get? Leave your comment um, or video response below. Okay, guys, peace out.